Sean has joined forces with London's Black and Whites in an all-out manhunt to find the man who killed his father. The two men who accidentally killed the boss are hiding in the house every day in fear. One of them receives a call from his brother and out of fear tells him the hiding place, not realizing that his brother has been kidnapped by the gypsy boss. Meanwhile, Finch receives a text message from the mysterious man, informing him of the hiding place where the black boss was killed. Finch immediately rushes there, but finds that one of the Karamis has been taken. Upon entering the room, only a muscle man and Johan's brother remain. Finch points his gun at the muscle man and looks at the decomposed Johan. Unexpectedly, the muscular man shoots the gun off. After a fierce battle, Finch defeated the muscle man. The brother picks up the gun and walks to the restroom. Finch inquires about the whereabouts of the other man, not realizing that he simply killed himself. As he walks out of the building, the female officers is waiting there. She is an undercover police officer who has been recalled early after failing to penetrate the mob for two years. However, Finch refuses. The man being taken away is the gypsy boss's son, who is taken to a farm to hide from the manhunt in order to protect him. On the other hand, the mob boss's driver wakes up and talks to the butler, revealing secrets about him. The driver assures the butler that he will not reveal the secret, but as soon as the words leave his mouth, he cannot move. It turns out that the butler has drawn the coffee and taken out a prepared knife to make the driver keep the secret forever.